Rand's Place Heroics is a show I remember watching back in the day. Ever since its premiere in 2013, it had captured millions of viewers in its 10-year run. Speaking of 10 years, for the series' 10th anniversary, I've decided to do an iceberg, detailing facts about the show in its entire run. If you don't know, an iceberg is where facts are placed in different places of an iceberg. And the more the iceberg progresses down, the more obscure and interesting the facts get. So, without further ado, let's get on to the iceberg. Logo change in season 3. In the opening sequence of the show, it ends with the logo zooming toward the clouds. The logo used in seasons 1 to 2 are the only ones that have the same logo. Up until promotional merchandise for the season 2 finale was released, it unveiled a new logo, having to be less cartoonish than the original. Since season 3, the opening theme was rearranged and a new logo was implemented as a replacement of the old logo. Hub Network Original Broadcast From seasons 1 to 2, the series aired on the Hub, later Hub Network. In October 13, 2014, Hub Network was relaunched as Discovery Family, and the show was pushed to Pivot Lodian for the rest of its run. In early 2016, the series became a sole property of Pivot Lodian. Silver Doing Bass. In the Rand's Place Heroics movie, in the song So What's the Problem You Say, it ends with Silver doing a guitar solo. Honestly, this is instead referencing Silver doing a guitar solo instead of him playing bass. Cliché I guess. Lost in Time. This is probably referencing the marathon that aired on Pivot Lodian, leading to the new episode titled Lost in Time, Ed's World Tom Leak. Tom is a character from Ed's World that is voiced by Tom Scott, also known as Thomas Ridgewell. In many episodes featuring a shot of Jericho's house, there is a picture of Tom nearby. This is probably considered that the heroics might like Ed's World, or maybe the fact they know each other. Miscellaneous ads. This is probably referencing the amount of ads the series had over the years. More Troach. More Troach is a character that considered to be the fourth member of the Cockroaches. As told by the official Rand's Place Heroics Encyclopedia, he left after a while due to his issues being friends with Junior. He returns and starts doing adventures after he left, pushing Junior to the side to the point he leaves the group. After finding out that Mort was wanted by the government, Junior returns to Mort, only to find out that he needs his giant robot to destroy the Earth. However, the cockroaches unite to stop Mort, ending with Junior shooting his robot. Since then, he has appeared in small scenes without dialogue, becoming one of the unique of Rand's Place Heroics characters of all time. Jericho Kart Jericho Kart is a series of games that features Rand's Place Heroics characters, as well as other characters such as Birds as Spies and the Cockroaches. For our purposes, the series had a role in the Rand's Place Heroics movie, where the players race in N64 Jericho Raceway, Cyanile voice change. This is referring to the fact that the character Cyanile's voice was changed. From Season 2 to mid-Season 8, she is voiced through Uberduck's text-to-speech interface of Twilight Sparkle from My Little Pony, who is itself voiced by Terrace Strong. In the Rand's Place Heroics movie, her voice is changed to a similar vein that of Starlight Glimmer, a character also from MLP. Then in the rest of Season 8 onwards, her voice retained the Twilight voice but was altered. Okay, so what do we need that is left on the list? Well, I need some assorted- So I have been appointed by the other commissioners to play a role in the go-kart racing. What are we going to do? We're gonna break ourselves out of here, that's what. Junior is gay to Mike. In the movie, Junior and Joey plan Mike's half-birthday, and he sings in response to You Make Me Feel Like Dancing. I'm in a spin, you know? This is self-explanatory but this likely means that Junior actually had feelings for Mike even though he hates him due his stupidity. But that doesn't mean he's gay, 
It just means that he has a relationship with him. Seasons 1 and 2. I can't find anything that was notable for both of the first two seasons, but I know that they were the only seasons broadcasted on the Hub Network before it rebranded.